Hey everyone, Miss Mythos here, welcome. Uh, let's hop into a new draft. Last draft I ended up 2-2, which was not great, but you know, not too bad either. Just 50-50 uh, win rate. But I, I hope to do better now. Um, we have some decent cards here. Ogre is a very good red creep. Oglody is a very good uh, black creep. I mean, Salamanic can be interesting, but probably not in uh, in draft. The cloak is of course very good. Uh, Satyr is decent. I don't know which color I'm gonna play yet. And these are just uh, on itself are the most reliable cards. So that's a okay pick. Wow, I wonder what was here that someone didn't pick Emissary. So Ogre is actually a quite good blue hero. Uh, maybe even one of the best. The problem is that I have now a really... I'm definitely going to play, be playing green. Uh, and I have good black and red creep. Um, and I don't have any good blue cards yet, so that's a little bit risky to select uh, a blue hero. But the rest of the cards are pretty bad, except for the items. Maybe the instigator. Um, I'm not sure if I should pick the instigator. I don't think it's really good either. So I think I'm gonna... Uh, the ogre is really good though. Let's pick the ogre. I'll, I'll risk it. I mean, far the base heroes are usually okay. Call the reserves and the help bear or apprentice. I think the help bear is fine. Stars align into emissary. <laughs> Can be good. And fight through the pain is a playable. Uh, the rookery is also okay. Probably not gonna play it. Clear the deck and new orders are playable cards. Thunderstorm, definitely one of the, the better blue cards. Question is do we pick something green to support or do we pick another ogre? I mean, Ogre is really good if you know that you're gonna play red. But we haven't found a good red hero yet. Arm the Rebellion is good if you have a lot of cre creeps. I don't know yet if I will have a lot of creeps. Um, and the Satyr is just a decent minion. Usually Ogre is the best card here. But we know we're gonna play green, at least one green. So that's that's why I'm. I'll pick the ogre for now. Just hope we pick up a decent red hero. Double row mask. Always good for uh, for green. I really like the blade as well. But... Double barrage and the instigator. Silamane is gonna be good with green. Divine Intervention is also. Well, down in between enough magic. Um, probably Divine Intervention is a bit better. And again, I don't know if I'm gonna play uh, red. Lightning Strike, I'm never gonna play, I don't think, but. Abaddon, not great with uh, the thing is, um, Farvan is better because he has creeps and then it goes better with emissary. The good thing about Abaddon is that he stays alive, 
um, so I can get silly mayonnaise and art stars line on. I think here the, the green cards are probably the best. Oh, Max Arena is also decent. Um, but I have two red six drops at the moment. Yeah. Not a great, great pack. Uh, I'm not gonna be playing black. Under uh, Friendly Fire is a good blue card. And I think we'll pick an arm. The Fool is a decent minion. Steel Strength can actually also be nice. Maybe that's better in this case. I don't have that many minion creeps yet. Soul Spring. And Hellbear. Riggs, no thank you. Play Relentless Zombie though. Or oh, not a Stars Align. The thing is, I'm really dependent now on my emissary. I think Relentless Zombie is a bit better. Maybe if I get like a Thunder Hide or something. A Poaching uh, Knife, I guess. Another Abaddon. Not gonna play him. Thunderhide, that's what we wanted. Let me cut out. Uh... Oh, I can only cut both of them out or no, none of them. Um, another Divine Intervention, I guess. So, not playing Black Right. Enchantress, that's the green hero we're looking for. Intimidation. Another home field and a blade. Okay, an assault is playable for blue. Soccer plants playable for red. And let's let's see which uh, things we want to keep. I don't think. So we might play triple green. Uh, not sure yet. Another Enchantress, Mist of Avernus, one of the best cards in the, in the game. Might play Keith and then Double Green. Enchantress is just a decent hero. The signature card is not that great, but since green has a lot of 4 drops, it's nice to have some 5 drops there as well. I think Keef is okay. Definitely the mist. Double home field. <laughs> it's fun. It's very defensive. Uh, double bronze legionnaire here. Do we pick another satyr? I think the bronze legionnaires are just the better, best cards and I can get rid of a sucker punch. It's better if you have more red heroes. Maybe a foresight. Legion instead of bearer, maybe. Actually, no, I have enough green cards. Okay. So we'll be a Farvan. And probably, yeah, I have to play key fight. I think it will be like this. So we're gonna cut the help bears maybe and pick a fight. New orders. Just the creeps are always good, right? So only creeps for red. And blue. Yeah, do I want to double or a single draw? That's the question. I think it's fine like this. Some nice uh, later games and, and board clears. That's fine. And then green. Yeah, all, all green cards of decent quality. 
have an have an off late game. So it, it looks alright. Um <laughs> three book of the dead. Do I need Jaspers? Do I need I don't need poaching knife I don't think. Probably like this. Not sure if I should run three cloaks and one sword. The thing is with the uh, enchantress and the armor, I'm not likely to die, so it's nice to have some extra attack, I think. Okay. The node looks like uh, like an okay deck, it's very defensive. With the double enchantress and of course with the healing. Uh, yeah. And basically all win conditions are the, the green stuff as well. Okay. Right, let's hop into the first match with this new deck. Hero-wise, I'm not sure if it's strongest, but I at least picked up an emissary. As long as I'm not gonna be... Uh, you know... In trouble with like slay and mist of avernus is also decent yes and yeah, slay is problematic uh, they have some ramp stuff so thunderhide or uh, emissary is gonna be nice he has black heroes I'm not sure whether i'm strong against it but we'll see oh, this is bad this is okay. Oh wow. I have double ignite. Uh, which is normally good, but I didn't start with the ogre. Need taking a lot of damage. Ready to prove myself. Probably gonna play ignite on the right to the right lane. I think Zeus is gonna be annoying here. If he lands uh, one of these two spots. There's not much I can do about it. Yeah. But I also need to ignite this lane. He probably has a blue spell. If he doesn't, I'm, I'm very lucky. Yeah. So this is... Uh, maybe I should have played Ignite here, but yeah, you never know, right? Here I want to play home field to the left, I think. Let's see you try to hurt us now. Okay, arm. That's annoying, but not crucial yet. Probably... Yeah, we just want to get our cards out at the moment. Okay, he's getting out maybe? Yeah. Okay, we can play Verdant to the first lane, maybe. From the right lane. But I uh, I don't know how many plays I'm gonna be having left. Kind of nice. I'll play. So next turn, thunderstorm does well, quite some. Uh, it clears it. I can use this. Almost. Yeah, it does clear it. If he if he doesn't destroy my ogre magi, uh, I'm in a really good spot here. Oh, 
Someone watch you. Okay. Well, we got the. Uh... That is annoying, but it's not that problematic. I still kill everything next turn with the thunderstorm. Just want to verdant here. I'll make it a little safer. I, I'm sure he will play something. Oh no. I know let them kick me around. That's problematic. Not what I expected either. Should just abandon that lane then and go for the second and third lane? Just let Ogre be there? I don't know. Zeus is strong against me, even though I have the armor, right? He has three heroes stuck on the same lane. And I don't think he will be ADing it with uh, Ignite. So I think I might just Foresight there. And then die. <laughs> I don't know. The Ogre is quite good here. Uh, fights against nothing. Okay. Get paid if you're dead. Doesn't matter too much. I'll make for sisterhood plot. You can't go on. So I will probably come back here okay, to uh, it could have had close to lethal to thunderstorm maybe I don't think I'm gonna get 80 there. field again on mid or left. Seems a bit excessive to do that. Probably still want to go mid. I need to widen the lane. It's weird that I mostly have red cards. Ticket. I don't think I should be too worried here. Okay. That's annoying, as usual. The question is do we want to thunderstorm here with uh, the ogre or not? 
it clears almost the entire bar, but he has my tower anyway, so I'm wondering if it's uh, needed or not. Okay, Soul of Spring maybe on the right? I don't know. It's annoying that he has exactly lethal here. I can clear this with uh, the ogre though. Maybe I should. I don't want to have another Thunder, uh, Thunder God's Wrath there. He only has one card left, so... This lane uh, is actually already kind of mine. I should have played... No, not in this lane. I don't know. Creep dies upkeep. Probably the blade. Cloak. So I don't want to have another Thunder Gods there. Plus, I can take back the first lane if I want to. I think. And multicast, that's what I wanted. Um, yeah, that's fine. You're out of your element. He might play play Thunder Gods, I don't know. We want the Verdon on the right. I mean, mid seems one. We win or die together. I have Although slowly, I'm fine with Valve and dying uh, on three HP. Question is do we go for the first lane or for the last? I think we have to save the last lane because Yeah, it's just I don't know what my items are. Jasper, sure. Signet ring. Hourglass, okay. He has two cards only, so Hourglass has to be good here. Eleven. Instantly die. <laughs> I also kind of need to push here. Emissary? No? Or mask? Okay. He gave up. Don't know why. We still have plenty of uh, time. I was not close to having lethal anywhere. But I'll take it. I didn't run into my late game, which I was afraid of. He didn't have too much late game either. He had Annihilation. I don't know, I think he got impatient. Right. GG. Trust score rating 44. Nice. Okay, let's hop into a second match. It is a very defensive deck, I would say. Double Enchantress. 
All the green cards are decent. He's got an emissary, that's nice. I haven't been able to play it yet though. Alright, against 1, 2, 3, same setup as me, <laughs> 3 green heroes, a Keef and, uh, and a blue hero, it's interesting. Turn 1 missed, probably the last lane. There's not enough of you to stop. Still die next turn. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. I'll okay, do we full here? Um, I don't take it out in one turn, but I don't want to buff the creeps either. So let's just do Time this. To end this This is of course nice. So I have a play. Uh, yeah, I want the extra attack, I guess. He will also go there, yeah. Figure as much. <laughs> Top of Verdant. Not great, but. Okay. This is uh, unfortunate. I was hoping for the curve, but okay. How much I can do here? That's really good for him. Probably need to ignite the second lane then. Do we ignite here? Um. I'll ignite the mid lane. What we can do. Sounds good to me. I hope he doesn't have the Mag Magnus card. I did not think of that. But there's nothing I can do about it. Cheating death is annoying though. I should have played ignite on that lane. Oh. Oh, only the card. I have to go first lane. If you play the whole Verdant here, the Burning Oil is not going to do anything. Um, I can also define Intervention there. Annoying but not problematic, I guess. It's too bad I have nothing for the mid lane. <laughs> it's destroying me here. We want you to have this.
next turn that it's over there though. Jaspers, I guess. I need, just need healing items. Um, I probably need to go mid. Not a verdant. Do I play it here? I uh, maybe. I will do anything. I will do the. Okay. This couldn't come at a better time. Everything dies, that's really nice actually. They don't really think about that. You're in over your head. Okay, misting lane one. I'll make it a little safer. Actually, if I play Jasper's here, he dies on upkeep. Great, that's both of them die at upkeep. I don't want to use this. You can only I save will. one now. Because I will be able to AD this lane. At some point. Lycan, with you by my side, there's no enemy <laughs> I can't fell. Yeah, I can only save one if he even remembers. Yeah, he saves a magnet, okay. Twenty gold. Let's see if we can finally buy something. Reftal. This is ten. Yeah, probably buy those. The plate is a bit late in turn seven. Kind of need to get rid of these things. Soul of Spring. It's actually nice here. Trust in the prowlers. There we go. Um. Okay, he gets up. <laughs> yeah, it was looking bad for him. I don't know, missed in the, the first first turn was already quite good of course. And then having the verdants everywhere. I don't think he could have gotten through. He had time of triumph. I also think, it, think it's a mistake to give up so early because I think it took me at least one or two more turns to win. If he draws time of triumph with like two or three heroes. Uh, he can snowball me out of that lane. And together with maybe Intimidation, he can take another lane, I don't know. It's giving up too early, I think, but, you know, I'll gladly take it. Trasco reigning 45, nice. Alright, let's hop into the third match. I think previous game my opponent gave up quite fast. Although I was winning the game, but it was not over yet. I always try to find a way out, uh, you know, stay alive as long as possible. Maybe you can get some perfect card out of your deck, and it can, you know, games can still change. Even though sometimes when you're losing, like turn after turn, it, be it can become really difficult. But you know, it's not a lot of these extreme games. I didn't, th I didn't think the last game was like that. Right, 
against new one. I don't know how you pronounce it. He got Puck now, that's really annoying. Um, he can get rid of my Verdant. Okay. Got a Ramask. I don't think I want a Ramask yet. I do have Salam in his favor, but not in the right lane. So I can play uh, over there. I don't want to have the blue and the green in the same lane. Um, so I'm gonna play over mid. The reason is green cards I can play almost ev everywhere but if I play these two in the same lane then I can only play the green cards in the... then I only play my non-green cards in the same lane. That feels kind of bad. I think we'll... and I cannot play Ignite the first lane now. That's also unfortunate. My wicked war! Okay, that's annoying, but you know. Do I play? No, I play Ignite still. Um, in the last lane, I guess. Is it a spell? I don't think so, right? Then I play Silomani to mid. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> I play Silomani to the first lane, and I can play an Ogre, but he, he does destroy it in two turns. <laughs> it's annoying, that's the only high powered card that I have. Well, let's see. This is a spell, but I, I lose 8 HP. I know 6, but that's a lot still. Ooh, Emissary. <laughs> Next turn. Legion is good here, but he will if he heals himself. I'll use this well. Do I mask mid? It makes more sense to do this. He will heal him for sure, but you know. Oh, oh, I rage, that's also possible. Okay. Well, nothing I can do about that. I will just go crazy on the mid lane from next turn onwards. That's my win condition. Oh, do I take 6 damage? I guess I will. It's fine. Because I want to play Prowler on the right. There's too much work to do. And he cannot get rid of it. That's the best part. TP, I don't need to. Okay. 
Yeah, it's too bad about uh, the minion spawn. I'm just gonna AD him on mid, right? I don't think there's anything... Yeah, he can do a Timidate or something, but still. There's nothing red or green can really do about it. Yes, no, they have no heart removal. So I just need to survive on the other lanes. And with like Verdance and stuff, that should be easy. You want to play the ogre here because if they both die, uh, the ogre comes next to the bear and he gets like extra attack. But if he plays a minion on that side, okay, now it doesn't really matter. But what did he do? New order for that? Okay, that's fine. This is gonna be an. <laughs> Okay, Helm of the Dominator or something, that will help, of course. You can still run away. And that. <laughs> I guess I will further admit, I have to. Thing is, I don't want this thing to die ever, right? Basically, I'm, I'm winning all three lanes at the moment. Kind of want to keep initiative. I'm also winning this lane. Time of triumph can be annoying. I don't know. I hope he plays something, then I can at least press this thing. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Legion has arrived. It's also fine. I'm, I don't want to lose initiative, so I'm gonna keep it at that. Um, Jasper Dagger's next turn, probably. A gift from the quarry. Ignite first lane, I think. Yeah. So that's that's why I. Uh, I do I double ignite the last thing? I don't know. Okay, he gives up. <laughs> yeah, it was a typical adversary win, especially because he's not playing black or blue, so he has no way to get rid of uh, get rid of it really. Maybe time of triumph would have helped at some point, but I didn't even have it. He didn't have enough late game to uh, to fight it. Okay, quite easy win. GG. Alright, let's hop into the fourth match. Currently 3-0, so going quite well. A very defensive deck, but it's, uh, it's been working so far. I think as long as I draw an emissary or uh, something like that. And as long as I don't face big board clears. Yeah, the deck is... You know, doing fine. Don't know if I can go for five wins, but I will certainly try. I mean, naturally it's weak against, like, strong board clears, but yeah. 
will mostly be like uh, blue spells I guess. Even with the armor it's difficult to do so. Okay, it's a rainbow deck but <laughs> it has X and Luna. Luna is of course piercing damage so the Verdant uh, doesn't help against it. Decent flop. Double home field advantage, that's nice. There's nothing I can play in the first turn, it's a bit unfortunate though. I think I will play the Ogre on... Yeah, the first lane does just seem bad, right? And so I'll play it right lane. I don't know. It's difficult because here it will face X like 50%. Mid, I don't wanna... Yeah, mid is fine actually. I have home field and st steel strength on the other lanes. And I play farther and left next turn. I need to pick up the ignite as well. We'll play that on first uh, the first lane, I think. That's great. Um, yeah, first lane seems the best. My favorite part is when we light everything on fire. Trying to stabilize a bit, st uh, stabilize a bit there. And play another home field to the first lane. Do I steal strength? Not yet, right? I can do it next turn. Show me what you got. I'll just let them die next turn, I don't know. Heal. Yeah, that's fine. Hopefully I will face the Luna. If he goes mid, he's getting disarmed. I think he will leave mid for what it is. Okay, he doesn't. Interesting. And I don't face <laughs> Luna, which may become problematic at some point. Okay, at least X is disarmed. Soul Spring is good on the... Uh, I, I don't speak Chinese, dude. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I need to fight for the right lane, I think. The, the mid lane is gonna be easy. Luna's gonna be strong, of course. Do I fighting instinct here or refuge? No, I can't. I have to play fighting instinct. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, that's good of him. It's good play. I will watch your body I should have played something on the ogre. Double Empower, that's strong. Very strong. Well, if I can get something that, where I can ramp into, that would be nice. He will go third lane if he's smart. There's not much I can do about it. Now he's going first. That might have been a mistake. Hopefully he doesn't go to the minion that instantly dies. Okay, it's Lunar. Um... It's not too much I can play. Well, there's everything I can play, but there's, there's only one 
spell. I think I'll just go Soul Spring now. I'll take care of you. Maybe I should have cloaked up first. I should definitely should have cloaked up first. You think I travel alone? Okay. Um, who's more likely to die? This will make a difference. I still know I need. Yeah. Who can stand against us? It's annoying. I don't really know what to do. I want to let my ogre, like my uh, ogre, die. That's perfect. Thank you for that. I don't need that here. Good. I just don't want to give him the five gold, but that's okay. I will stand and fight. Okay. I think I want to save the last lane. Just l l let them live there. <laughs> Double minions there. I just hope that they won't be able to AD me. There. But uh, the ignite is going to be really good. Mask the third lane, the second lane, sorry. Probably. <laughs> upkeep kale, upkeep kills. <laughs> All the upkeep kills. I actually can't. Unless I start a line into a musk. It's fine for that one minion, I don't really care. So, four things die on upkeep. And this one is very close. So we'll definitely play this here. I was hoping for one of these. Do not do play another verdant. Seems a bit useless to do so. It's piercing damage, right? So here doesn't do much either. I think we can do that. Uh, on mid, I don't know. Steel strength does only four more, so don't see the point in that at the moment. Fifteen seconds remaining. Um, yeah, let's do another armor here. Just make an impossible wall to go through, and then get rid of the get out of the first lane. He's getting all the creeps there. Actually, it doesn't matter. It dies at some point. But I, I don't have any of my late game cards. But I will just AD him here at some point. So, one hero dies here on upkeep. Along with his minions. His creeps.
Yeah, he can eclipse at some point, and there will be powerful eclipses, but... I actually don't mind at all. I'll probably intimidate uh, the Magnus. Unless I really want to go for 80. I don't know yet. Do I remask the right? I think so. Before I take care of others, I need to take care of myself. Or do I intimidate Luna? No. Probably not. Double heart stopper. That's annoying though. Really annoying. It'll take me a lot of turns to. Uh... Because the ogre will die next turn. That's annoying. It's still like. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should have kept initiative here. I don't know which lane I'm, I'm uh, can win. Maybe I want to intimidate one of the red ones out. I mean, he doesn't do that much damage. Jaspers. Uh. Hmm. At least double creep spawn. <laughs> Don't know if it's. Yeah, useful or not. Okay. I didn't have to do this. So friendly fire will be good next turn. I will just DP one of them out. Okay. Sure. Friendly Fire does a lot next turn, I think. That's too bad the Ogre dies. Okay, 20 gold, that's reasonable. Guess I'll steal strength for now. I'm not afraid to fight. Jaspers. Where does he take one damage? Oh yes, six clean, yeah. Do I get rid of him? I think so. Pushing a lot of damage now. Fourteen. 
So it's almost lethal there now. Need to heal. I only have one card left, that's the annoying thing. Yeah, <laughs> he has to defend mid. Because it's two turn lethal and here it's also two turn lethal. He kills both my minions, but Keith will survive. Yeah, he's in desperate need of a TP. Friendly fire doesn't do much now, unfortunately. Yeah, he needs to defend that as well. I think it's, he made a good choice there. I finally got it. Um, now I need to play the Prowlers on the right next for next turn's uh, Eclipse. So I'll just let it be. Sure. I don't know why you need that though. I don't even mind dying. If he has time of triumph, I might be in trouble. Okay. Do I also need to TP back out? I think so. Okay, that's good. <laughs> he might have another creep though. Yes, I was afraid of time of triumph. My axes are sharp. As always. I'm gonna make this board wider. I'm ready for it. He probably has a... Uh, I can friendly fire next turn, take out the Luna. That's what I have to do, save initiative for the right and then... But I do need to play... Do I need to play? Yeah, I have to take out the Luna. Do I have to defend here though? 
I don't think so. I think going all right on the, all in on the right lane is fine. Ooh, maybe not. Oh god, I misplayed this. I threw the game. He has lethal, I think. Oh damn. I should have played at least one green hero mid. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. He doesn't have it though. Oh my god, the oath. Wow. Oh, that's... Could I prevent this? Only if I played both on the... Oh man, that's a bad loss. Time of Triumph and the Oath taking down 35 HP, or like 32 HP tower. He also had an emissary. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Lost to a rainbow deck, that always hurts. Yeah, I misplayed there. I should have played at least one, maybe two uh, heroes in the mid. Queen heroes. And then play uh, Ramas Blessing. Or the Prowler. No, probably Ramas Blessing. Then one of my heroes would have survived and it would have been fine. Um, I was too greedy, I think. Yeah. All GG. Alright, let's hop into the fifth match. Fortunately, last game was a loss, but it was my own uh, my own mistake, I think. I could have played that a bit better. I uh, got a little bit too greedy. And he took down an almo uh, almost healthy tower in uh, in one turn with with the oath. I think it was the only card that could have. Uh, Given him the win, or maybe Disciple as well. A rainbow deck. He still got the right cards everywhere. Okay, double green, double blue, and a green. Sorry, double red, double blue, and a green. I start with Ignite a lot of times and then I can't play it. It's uh, kind of annoying. And the standard bear is not gonna help here. I think I'll still play the blue on the first lane. Yeah, definitely now. He will probably do the same. I cannot play the Legion. Oh, he plays it the last lane. Interesting. Prowlers. I can play a Prowler on that lane. Keep is annoying that it uh, tanks. Okay, that's even more annoying. You're safe with me, Gentress. Okay, cloak. Let's play fourth and mid, and I can finally play my uh, ba Legion Bear. Somewhere. Hopefully Zeus goes. I don't know. 
across Farven, I guess. Good, then I can play the bear there. Time to reinforce the Probably want to play the Verdant here. Yeah, double Verdant. I'll do what I can. Here it saves the creep at this moment. Do 10 damage, seems nice. Maybe Zeus switches the Ignite. I will fight by your side. Kills two creeps, so that's not great. Do I cloak? Not yet, I don't see a reason to do that. I'll protect you. I'll make it a little safer. Mirror. This is gonna be a lot it takes long that lane, I guess. We need the health for Oh, but I would armor. Loads piercing. The Zeus on the gods, of course. And this is also piercing. Bring out the next one. Um, Solar Spring is good on mid. But Fighting Instinct is only play that I have there. Probably now the zombie dies. We appreciate you looking after us. And the sword here is good. Do I play this anyway? No, it only has does nothing almost. Play the cloak on. Enchantress. It's weird that I cannot play anything here. This just dies instantly. Divine Intervention does nothing, Soul Spring does nothing either. We're ready to fight now. I need to do this. To Evade the uh, Thunder Gods. I need to pick <laughs> to get one of my ring conditions. Because I only have defensive cards. Uh, the sword, that's what I needed. The rest I don't really care so much about. Okay, Zeus is coming back. Probably first lane. Then again, why would he? That's kind of lost. But yeah, he, here he dies, right? Probably want to start with Foresight. And that's annoying. He has only 6 mana now though. I think I want to ignite the last lane. If you play Thunder Gods, uh, yeah, he will kill me. From last lane, right? Still a possibility. Okay, not an ignite here. Let's 
it's kind of annoying. I will play Igniter. I, I just have to get 10 more damage here. He's also taking quite some da- uh, I am taking quite some damage. Question is do I play the Prowler to heal? Or the Fighting Instinct? I think 7 HP is fine or not. <laughs> yeah. Fighting instinct we can always play later. Tell us what you need. I just want to get a lot of HP for uh, if you play Thundergods on the right and again on the left. Yeah, the Ogre will die. That's about the only thing. So I think he's thinking, is it worth it to kill only the ogre? And it's only for the next turn, because the turn after that he's co coming back already. Okay. You won't give up. I think I will start with Divine Intervention. And this is only uh, the mid lane I'm also winning, right? I need the sword. I could have used the heal. Thunderstorm. It doesn't clear. This round, I don't care because the ogre is gonna die next next round. Um, Thunderstorm does nothing. Call the reserves. Can play it on the mid lane. So that was actually good, right? Oh no, my my. Okay, maybe it was not so good. Because <laughs> my Chantress dies on upkeep. A tribute to the I should have bought the healing. Oh, actually, I have three HP. That's good. Then home field on the first lane. The forest protects its own. There's strength in unity. Then a sword here. Think us when you like a tree. And then play nothing on the right. I don't care about the right lane. You can play another Thunder Gods. He doesn't. He saves initiative, I guess. To kill. I don't know. Maybe as a timber uh, thingy. <clears throat> yeah, I finally got emissary. It's brutal on mid though, the emissary. Um, where do yeah, I'm gonna save the right lane? This lane is pretty safe. Yeah, this will be useful. I am the greatest defender of our time. Sure. Here we go. This is game winning. 
Uh, Thunder High Pack would also be really good though. I probably have lethal here in two turns or something. He needs uh, TP, and even then. Leave while you still can. Okay. I'll take the fight to them. Yeah, whatever. This will do. Um, well, Blink Decker would have been good. I mean, it's not great, but Thunderstorm still clears all the creeps. Plus the multicast is strong, yeah. Dealing seven, so one damage off. Okay. Yeah, it does nothing, so. I can always use some new blades. I don't think there's anything he can do. Unless he has annihilation. I won't be needed here for long. Oh, fighting instinct there. I mean if he has both TP and uh, and annihilation he can do something. Also dead on the first nose. This dies. But well, Zeus also dies. Okay, he has a DP. Okay, for the heal. Leaves fine. Like, Zeus dies, right? So I'm just gonna widen the board. Uh, play the zombie, and I should be fine. I can always steal strength. Oh, I've done the high pack even. Uh, next turn. Still strength, still lethal. Okay, GG. Yeah, that emissary was needed, I think. <laughs> Without, well, yeah, he would have defended the left lane a bit more and uh, the game would have lasted a bit longer, I guess. Oh, he had a bolt. Not sure how, lo how low I was, and he had a time of triumph. I'm facing a lot of time of triumph decks. I'm conflag. Yeah, it would not have been good against my uh, Verdans, right? Okay. Yeah, he had a decent deck. I oh, not secrets at any cost. I, I evaded some uh, strong cards, I guess. Okay. GG. Dress kill rating 46. Nice. Here we go. Final match. Will it be 5-1 five, five, or 4-2? Against dot dot dot. Oof. Luna, PA, Debbie. Uh, it's all piercing damage, so... My, <laughs> my infinite verdants are not gonna be that good. I have a nice flop, though. Uh, I 
is a good starting play. Yeah, I want to do curve fight. Maybe has something up. Okay. Um. Probably first lane. Yeah, you will also do it. Duelist in mid. This is perfect. I prefer not to play foresight, but I don't know if I have a choice. Nope. I have no playable cards except for the duelist. Oh, this dies even. Okay, I'm taking this lane pretty uh, decently. Probably play the legionnaire here, right? It's an honor to fight alongside my brothers. Taking control of this lane as well. Okay, it's fine. Maybe a creep takes it next time. Um, rather have the hipfire dead on somewhere else. Um. Yeah. Left. Let's go left. Okay, I'm committing a lot on the first lane, he's committing more on the last lane. No divine intervention is good here. I'll take it. It's an honor to fight alongside my brothers. That's good. He did well there. Remember. There's two of us to protect. Uh, do I want friendly fire? Uh, sorry, short sword probably on the right. Oh, okay. That's uh, one of the easiest wins. Especially as a last match. I mean, I was doing good, but I don't think I was doing that amazing. I think he just got annoyed. Ah, he's, yeah, he didn't have any late game and I think he saw that. We well, had four ogres though, that's strong. He had two slays. I don't know, he, he did have some late game, like eclipses, ghouls are, and ogres are quite nice. Okay, well, I'll, I'll take it, sure. Draft skill rating 47, a nice way to uh, finish up this perfect draft. GG, thanks for watching all.